Hello everybody, this is JBJ Blaze, and I think anyone and everyone who is watching this right now, um, we just finished watching The Shaft episode 185 with um, Eric, Brent, Maz, and Afro Monkey. Still with no guests yet, although apparently there's rumors of future guests coming very soon and I just wanted to talk about what the Shaft catch-up finale is and what's going on tonight so originally I had begun listening to the Shaft at episode 23 when my cousin Snakey referred me to this stuff because I had just gotten into Minecraft, and I've been listening to it since then, and actually I went back and listened to the very first podcast, and then went from there, and it, it's been a great road. I got to hear about some names that you probably won't find anymore, there's um, Jaden B, or yeah, I think something Jaden anyways who worked on the Shaft mod, Krami, who used to be a huge sponsor of the Shaft, and this guy named Jassum that I, I cannot find a darn thing about him anymore, and there's Imperialistic and just a bunch of cool guys I've heard from older episodes, and then came in Watershed, which was their frequent server sponsor. And I, I miss hearing about you guys. You, the, the server you guys have is awesome, and I, I can't wait to continue recording my um, server Let's Play with my friend Kate Corbeard. And then... Just a bit ago, December, one of our favorite hosts from The Shaft, and one of the only hosts, Mr. Wes Wilson, you can find him on Twitter, at Wes Wilson, he had announced his departure from the show, so he could work on, I was thinking Cross Elements for some reason, but no, Core Elements, which is his general gaming podcast. I was thinking core gaming. I'm getting my words mixed up here, which he hosts with Spencer Williams, who also used to be with the Dead Workers Party. I'm not sure um, what his reason is, but I'm afraid to go there. Um, and then... Yeah, so they had Seven Days to Die, which only lasted a bit of time, and they've been working on on Smite, so I'm catching up with that while being done with the Shaft audio episodes and everything, and ever since, so I started watching the Shaft live on episode 144, which was the Colin episode, and I was the, um, alien that they called an airstrike on. No, that no, they they didn't actually call an airstrike on me. And I, I felt a bit embarrassed after getting hung up on because I was thinking, why would they do that to me? Make me sound like an alien. Next thing I know it's my clownfish half, which I talked about on their 159th episode, End of an Error with Wes Wilson, sorry if that's a bit of a spoiler, but it's true, he left. And then I forgot all about the shaft or something like that on 145, then again it was also a Sunday, which is usually the times when I, when we're spending time with my father, because that's when he gets off of work. And then 146 I came back, to, I believe, Zul'jin, either Zul'jin Basher or Seth Bling. I'm not sure which one of those guys it was, but I've been watching it live since then, and then the guys have 
just, I guess, been mind blown by the number of contributions I've had now. And admittedly, yes, I do feel like I... Like I... Because I... I honestly wish I'd have started watching live sooner and I I got a bit of a snippet of the live version of 99 with Josh SDH but at the time we didn't have that much bandwidth which is why I couldn't really watch those episodes back at the time and then the time I had in my schedule myself but I, I'm I'm just thankful that I caught on to the shaft live when I did. And so what the shaft final uh, the shaft catch up finale thing is is on Sunday of this week at the shooting range we went to, I finally finished watching the 144th episode of the shaft video version because I've been through all the audio versions and decided I want to go through the 144 and 145 video versions especially since I want to see because I didn't get to see the rest of the 144 video thing because the time got past my bedtime somehow I forget how exactly that happened other than they just ran very late on that episode and then I haven't really seen Lydia's face on the shaft or Minecraft chick and I can't wait to um, watch the rest of it with you guys and anyway I sent in an audio thing to the guys tonight regarding it and actually I even got Eric Fullerton's permission who I will show you his face right here so he's the bottom right so if there ends up being a problem with me showing this he's to blame because he's the one who told me I could and yeah so let's get this party started this is housekeeping from the shaft 145 and enjoy the show is that somebody at your house Lydia <laughs> no. You're knocking on something? Oh, is that over here? Come in. Yeah. Housekeeping! Hey! Way. How's that? Housekeeping! Uh, you didn't clean up too did well. You, did you bring a broom today or a uh, um, vacuum cleaner? Or? No broom, I use it to fly. Oh, okay. You get some more here. moonshine? Oh. <laughs> Apple pie moonshine is delicious. Oh, God. We'll just take some mints instead. I'm going blind. <laughs> Uh, so, a little housekeeping this week. I had a new Core Elements episode that we released this week. Um, had a guy named uh, Kent Hudson who's doing a game called The Novelist. Really kind of fascinating. Um, it's, uh, it's about a guy who is trying to uh, write a novel, but at the same time maintain his relationship with his wife and kids. And you actually play a ghost, and you can influence the things that are going on in the house. But if any of the people see you, like it's bad. So like you, you're trying. So it's kind of like a stealth game. Bad. What? <laughs> no, I'm saying bad. Oh. Play so anyway, <laughs> play fire. Uh, you can check that out by going it's to good. ce. deadworkers. dot com. Um, it's or, a good podcast. Yeah, you should listen. And and oh. Kent Hudson is actually really really sharp and really smart. And uh, it was it was a good time. So and next week we've got um, uh, the creator of Tower of Guns. He is going to be. And if uh, any of Minecrafters have been following Joe Hills. Um, uh, he, he's been playing Tower of Guns as well. Uh, so we'll be having that on Tuesday. We'll be recording it live. Great show. Cool. And cool. also, if you haven't uh, seen or heard Minecraft's End, it is a music video on our channel, and it's uh, doing really good. A lot of people like it. Um, it's very cool. Thank you. <laughs> We're working on another song. Uh, actually, we have a couple in the making right now, uh, and then... Uh, also, the lost potato. The it lost is our, potato. It is our current adventure that we're on currently, and we're looking for the lost potato. Yeah. There's not really a lot about potatoes in the adventure. It really wasn't. There. It's a good one though. It's fun. It was good stuff. Uh, there good. is there is one important potato moment, and I am responsible for it. Oh yeah, potato mm. moment. Yep, there's a potato moment. <laughs> <laughs> and then of course uh, Columbus Day weekend, which is uh, I think it's like the first weekend in October. 
Uh, we are going to have the Dead Workers Party party, and especially a big land party get together down here in Huntsville, Alabama, at our studio. So if you're interested, which is in really that, awesome, yeah, I can vouch for that. Been here <laughs> multiple times. Yeah, it's even cleaner than when you were here. <laughs> and it's just a really cool place. It's yeah. really awesome. Yeah. And as uh, Lydia said, she'll definitely be here. So I expect to uh, <laughs> get enough skin. 100%. <laughs> yeah. She promised. She promised us. <laughs> promised. So uh, you can see more at our website, deadworkers.com. Just click on events and you'll see D- DWPP there. And uh, uh, yeah, we've got a lot of people coming. It sounds like it's going to yeah. be a lot of fun. So, Aztec uh, Consulting has booked his flight. He's on his way. <laughs> Joe Hills will be here. Uh, he's Fine. here every year. Um, and uh, just a big list of names. So. Yep. How cool is it? Just the, I don't know. It's just always awesome to be like the community of how many people are getting together and have met in real life and how many lives have been changed. This is really incredible. Yep. Yeah. When you think about it, like when I think about all of these friends that I have now that I didn't know three years ago when I started, it's like such a void in my life that now it's like, oh, I can't imagine not like talking to these people on Twitter or seeing them every day or, you know, meeting up with them twice a year. It's, it's really crazy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, definitely. And time flies too. So how long yes. have you been working for Mojang now? Two, three years, two years? Uh, it's been over two years. That's so. so crazy. Yeah. And like you said, it's you're, really crazy. Your job's kind of transition. I know now we're getting back into like questions, <laughs> but I think it's cool. Um, like what's, uh, what is your job like day to day now at Mojang? Uh, it's a lot of things because, um, I mean, with so few of us, we kind of all just take things and go like, okay, I'll take on this thing. I'll take on that thing. So I work with the community. I work a lot on all of our launch plans for anything that's coming out. Um, I'm a brand gatekeeper with junk boy. And so we filter through all the, the people that want licenses and we look at all the different products that we have with our vendors that will be coming out. Like we'll see, you know, 10 samples of something and be like, oh, this needs to be tweaked or that needs to be tweaked or that needs to be tweaked. And then um, kind of, yeah, anything that comes up that's going to kind of go out of the office into the world. That's a lot of what I do. So it can be like my secret project that I'm working on, or it can be, uh, Sending emails all day is kind of a vast <laughs> variety of things. Wow. But um, hopefully a lot more figuring out how uh, how Minecrafters can do meetups other than Minecon. Nice. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Dead Workers Party Party is one of those. Play on Con. Yep. Yeah. Play on Con was a lot of fun this year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're working on getting next week, next year booked. Awesome. Yeah. And then, of course, Minecraft Radio with just us. That's great. Minecraft Radio. Yeah. Well, more about that later. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, any more questions? Any more questions? Anybody in the chat room got anything to ask Lydia? I'll, I'll answer them if I see. This is, this is all there is to it. This is it. If you want your questions answered, now is the time. Uh, there's not an info page yet on Minecon stuff, but there will be soon. No. Um, I haven't never heard of that barbecue place. Oh, but they were asking you. Jim and Nick. Um, Jim and what's, what's the beef? I don't know. Why Jim? am I so cute? Well, thank you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, I like monkeys. My headphones are razor. Um, the Museum of Mojang will be at Minecon. I don't have pockets because I have on leggings. Um, thank you for saying I'm awesome. I don't speak any Swedish. It's kind of pathetic. Um, if, you, if you win a... If you win a panel submission, uh, yeah, you sh- you probably will get tickets. Uh, my pink hair, I dyed, so it's not pink anymore. Um, I didn't know we were adding chairs to Minecraft. Um, Speaking of, my wife says she loves your new haircut. Uh, uh, Who, what? Uh, I'm sure I would like bacon pancakes. Yes, I had currywurst in <laughs> Berlin, and it was awesome. Um, wait, I don't wait, know wait. the bacon, ultimate answer. Bacon Junk pancakes? Plate. Oh, you're ruining something good. Oh, here. sorry, sorry. I got excited. Um, Junk Boy is our art designer, and he is the best. Minecraft Pocket Edition, I don't have any say in, but I think there's an update coming out pretty soon. Um, Chicago's nice, but I don't know if we'll do a Minecon there. Uh, oh, is it an African swallow? Um, I will meet <laughs> with the volunteers. Uh, my inspiration for YouTube is. Uh, 
anything Minecraft? No, I won't give you free Minecon tickets. That would be very unfair. Um, I play a lot of games on my iPad. It's kind of the easiest thing because I'm traveling around with it. So I just got this new one called Fetch with a boy and a dog. That's kind of fun. And I love swords and sorcery. Um, I don't have a beard. Um, <laughs> uh, I am talking to the creatures. I like waffles. Um, Vu is uh, my boyfriend and also the COO of Mojang. Um, favorite color is probably purple or pink. I don't have any pie anywhere. Like, like uh, peonies. I, I totally lift, peonies. bro. Look, <laughs> I lift, bro. Okay. Um, I don't play Pokemon. Pokemon. Um, I haven't played much on the Minecraft on the Xbox, but I think it's pretty cool. I use the original textures mainly because I'm lazy. Um, mm -hmm. My most favorite Same food here. is probably pizza or pasta, and I'm a big Coca-Cola drinker. Only Coca-Cola, no diet, nothing else. True, Coca-Cola um, tastes better. I would than try Pepsi maple opinion. bacon vodka. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, my you know shirt what says it's hip to be square. It's the threadless shirt, so it was designed by a threadless person, and there's. Another contest like that coming up soon. I can't say when, but very soon. Uh, my favorite game other than Minecraft. I really liked uh, Guacamelee on the PS3. Ah, yeah. It's a really fun game. I don't like Coca-Cola Zero. No, only regular Coca-Cola. I heard Guacamelee was <laughs> a good game. That's the indie gamers. No, I won't come at you, bro. <laughs> oh I don't gosh. know if Minecraft will ever be in California, but I do love California. I occasionally watch Sky Does Minecraft. I don't watch too many videos because I, uh, it's hard to keep up with all of them. I do know who the Minecrackers are, are they? and I'm, I'm are... talking to them about uh, they're, they want to do some cool things at Minecon. Cool. Oh yes, Coca-Cola with real sugar is the best, but if I'm in the US, I'll drink it with high fructose corn syrup. Um, I like camels, but I wouldn't want to ride them. My favorite car, um, I don't really have one, but I think I would like to have a Mini Cooper here in Sweden. Um, uh, Sistas, uh -oh. definitely. She's when is Minecon Antarctica? I don't know what that <laughs> question is. Okay, it sounds like the questions are getting down to that. Let's save her, let's save her. Let's, let's hop save in her. Here. Thank you so much, Lydia, for being on the show today. Yes. We love you, and uh, we can't wait to see you again at Minecon. And thank you so much for um, you know giving us the info on, on Minecon and what you've been up to. Definitely. Um, if you ever need anything, just holler. You know we're there thank for you. Thank you. And awesome. uh, thank you everyone for listening in. You are thank welcome. You guys so much. It's I really always a pleasure. It. I love and, uh, doing I guess stuff. that's it. Anything else? Did you want to say any last words? No, just thank you everyone for coming out and uh, oh, thank you guys me. for letting me come on again. I, I won't take so long. We'll, we'll, we'll plan another one closer to Minecon so I can give you like the real lowdown. Sounds Run good. Tell not, she's Canada, got 55 please. episodes. He promised to be on 200. Cool. So, uh, <laughs> and then he's going to go. That's right. I'll let him 200. know. Maybe live at uh, Minecon 2014. Yeah. Mm. <gasps> love you about the same thing. Anyway, <laughs> thank you, and we love you, and uh, that's it. And goodbye. Bye. Bye. Congratulations, you made it through The Shaft alive. See show notes and leave comments for this episode at The Shaft. Excuse me, but I am dead. Dot deadworkers.com. Send questions. Not really. Questions, comments, and audio to the shaft at deadworkers.com or leave us a voicemail at 256 812 1010. Now it's that awkward moment where you already said bye and then everyone's still there. <laughs> <laughs> it's not awkward mm. at all. <laughs> Dead Workers Party Network. No pants, no lag. Oh, oh my gosh. Hi, Aztec. Oh my gosh. You're actually here. Thanks so much for coming. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Y you don't know how much this means to me. That's it. Y you're getting 
awesome statuses. But that was The Shaft 145. Episode 145 with Lydia Winters. And that was the last one before I finally finish my The Shaft catch-up. So as of now, I am 100% caught up with The Shaft. I thank you all for coming, and especially you, Aztec. Oh my gosh, you don't... You, this means so much to me that even you came. Anyways, I gotta go to bed soon. Um, hopefully it's alright with the Shaft guys and you if I edit this up so I can put this on my channel. I thank you all for coming. God bless. And I'll see you later. Possibly tomorrow with Blazylog number 18. And maybe even if Maz does an 8-bits episode. See ya! This is JBJ Blaze tuning out. Bye-bye!